Hello everyone. Um, in this video, I'm going to write a macro that's going to delete the blank rows in this column. So sometimes you'll get like an import of data or something and maybe you want to delete every row that's blank. <clears throat> so let's go into the editor. First, uh, let, let's see how do we how do we write a macro. So you see I just, uh, you need to get into the Visual Basic environment and how you do that is uh, click on the toolbar, right click, and go down here and select Visual Basic. And now these uh, options come up. Um, what you want to press is the Visual Basic Editor here. So when you hit that, you'll come into the environment and um, we want to write our macro in a module. So we'll double click on module one and you'll see that module one is blank. So now we can start writing the macro. And let's just call this sub delete. Remember, you have to begin every macro with sub, and I name the macro delete. You have to put the parentheses after. So first thing I want to do is I need to find the last row of this data. So I need to find this cell here. So how do I do that? I could start at the top and, well, actually, starting at the top and looping through to find a blank row is going to screw things up because... Uh, you need to find the cell from the bottom. So how do you do that? So first thing, you do range cell A65000. So what this does, it'll start at cell 65000 and it'll move up from the end of the column and it'll go up, it'll move up and then it'll select that cell. Why did I select 65000? Just pick, well, this is the maximum number of rows in Excel, <clears throat> 2003, that I'm working in. If it was 2007, you could put 1 million because that's the maximum number of rows in 2007. But just pick a number that is going to be greater than the data drop. So you could pick uh, a very large number. So let's just test this out real quick. So I'm going to step through here. And it works. Okay, so this works. Now, once I have that... I want to name I want to name that my last row. So I'm going to declare a variable, and how you declare a variable is with the dim statement. Don't ask why it's dim. I'm not really sure, but all, all I know is that this is how you declare variables, and you have to dim x last row as something. So I'm going to do an integer because I want to put the row in this variable. All a variable is is a placeholder. So the the, the row number is going to go in this variable x last row. And just uh, again, you got to put uh, declare the variable with dim. Okay, so I did that. Now I want to um, start at the top, and I want to start at row one, row one, column one, and I want to move down until I get to the last row. But I need to this is the row index I need to change that to an X because that's going to be increasing so I want to put dim X as X row as integer and initially initially this is going to be 1 so X is going to equal 1 and now I can put X row in here so I should have put X row there before but I just put X sorry um, <clears throat> okay so now I have two variables and now what I want to do is loop through um, column one until x row is equal to x last row. And I'll end the loop down here. And I want to increase x row as I move through this loop. So I'm going to put x row is equal to x row plus one. So this is going to move through the cells. And uh, what I want to do now is say um let's see if if the cells of x row 1 which is column 1 whatever row if that value is blank then i want to select that i have to put it then and i want to delete it And how you do that is selection.entireRowDelete. And I want to end if. 
But if I, so let me just move this over. And I'm tabbing, so you highlight this and press tab, and that'll move over. And this doesn't need to be in the loop. This could go. This goes outside the loop. And this is set to x last row. I should have done that earlier. Okay, so let's just go over this real quick. I find the last cell. I put that row of the last cell. Oops, gotta do that. Here we go. I find the last cell, and in here, I put the row. Sorry for doing this a little bit backwards. Uh, just trying to make sure I got enough time. Um, find the last cell, take the row of that cell, and put it in this variable x last row. Um, x row is equal to 1. So right now, x, uh, x last row is equal to 14. x row is equal to 1. It's going to loop until x row, which would be being incremented, is going to equal 14. And if it finds a cell, so in cell 1, 1, if the value is blank, then it's going to select the cell here, and it's going to delete it. And if it deletes it, I need to make sure that x last row is also deleted. Because you'll, if you didn't put this in, you'd run into a problem. So you have to subtract one here. Okay? And also, if you delete it, you have to subtract one from x row. Because if you're on cell 2 and you delete it, x row would be incremented down here to 3. But you don't want that. If you delete x2, you want to check x2 again. So you have to delete one from x row. Just make sure you have this in there. And now let's uh, step through this. And let me just delete some blank rows here. Okay, so let's step through. And let's see uh, if it working. We got an error. If XL, X row, on the value goes blank. Um, ah, it's because X row is not properly named. So now I'm going to step through it again. And you can see it's uh, moving down and it's deleting. So you saw that it deleted that. And now it's going to delete the next one. And now it's going to skip over B. And it's going to go to the next one. It's going to delete the blank one. It's going to delete another blank one. Skip over C. OK, so I'm just going to run it. We know that it works. So I'm going to run it. And it deleted everything. So that's it. I mean, uh, let's just go over that real quickly. If you want to delete blank rows, you declare the last row in the range. And you do that by this here. This will select the last row with a value in it. You put the row, active cell dot row, in a variable. And then you want to loop from the top, which is x row initially at 1. So loop from 1 down to the last row. If the value is blank, then you want to select it. And you want to delete it. And you want to decrease your row by 1, decrease your last row by 1, and end your if statement. And that's it. So in Excel VBA, you have a couple different types of loops. Uh, you have a do until, you have a do while, and you have a for loop. And you could Google all those and see how they're used, and there's plenty of documentation on that. And then you have an if statement, which is another uh, conditional statement. And you could put more, uh, you could put ors here, or ands here. You could just keep going on, and you could Google that and see more examples of that. But this macro is a, a good macro, and it uses some of the, some of the language that you're going to be using in VBA. And it might be useful to you. Um, so that's it, and please comment the video. Um, oh, one thing I'll just remind you that this is how you step through. So remember, put your cursor here, step through. If you want to put a breakpoint, you could put a breakpoint here. Just click on the here on the on this gray column, and then you hit play, and it'll stop at the breakpoint. Just some reminders about that, uh, and then hit the reset button when you want to start over. Okay, so that's it. Uh, please comment and. Thank you very much.